imagine a digital loony becoming legal tender. Well, that day is getting closer. A recent survey found most major banks are considering some form of digital currency within the next six years. Three research teams have produced proposals for the Bank of Canada. As Eric Sorensen reports, this could fuel the digital economy. Every day, more Canadians pay digitally. And fewer businesses need this. A cash drawer stuffed with bills. Canadians are among the most cash-free spenders in the world. So is it time for digital currency? The Bank of Canada isn't promoting the idea, but believes it needs to be ready. Currency is a core part of the Bank of Canada's mandate. For several years, the Bank of Canada has been analyzing what circumstances might lead Canada to decide to issue a digital currency. The Bank of Canada is now studying proposals from three sets of university experts for a homegrown digital currency. Formulas for how to spend with the anonymity of cash without using cash. It could work like this. Through an app on a cell phone, a user sets up a secure e-wallet. It's authenticated through a government agency and it's ready to go. A merchant establishes a digital transaction to accept the funds. But a critical new step in between, what the U of T and York team calls a whitelist, where the transaction is not only authenticated but will ensure customer information is not passed on just the money privacy is paramount we believe that the Canadian government has an obligation to give people a way to protect their privacy and give them in particular because payments are so central for commercial interactions the currency would require measures against too much privacy to prevent money laundering and tax evasion and while cash payments are becoming a smaller part of the economy the central bank says it wouldn't abandon communities not connected to high-tech commerce that means for one thing, ensuring that remote and marginalized communities are not left out of any new way of way to pay for goods and services. The so-called CBDC wouldn't be a direct counter to Bitcoin, which is an investment currency, rather than a cash equivalent consumer currency. But Canada cannot sit back, say experts, as other countries like China unveil digital currencies. Vous avez entendu parler du facteur? Des nouvelles du facteur.